When he throws that wide hook, this is good, right? But this is quite difficult, especially when you got someone who's throwing like, like a, a boxer's uh, straight, you know, pop, pop, returning, right? So there's different ways you could train this one motion here rather than throwing it, throwing it off of a straight cross or, or a round hook, like just instead of looking at it a boxing uh, perspective. So another way you could look at it, right? So just say this lands or whatever, he gets you in this half plumb. So go ahead and get the half plumb. Yeah, so just like this, right? So you'll have plumb like this. So we could work up this situation here where we're still looking at the same gunting movement, but we're working off of it. Instead of a punch, we're looking at it from a half plumb here. So we're here we're in this position here. What's gonna happen here is my hands here, my hands here. This one is gonna work downwards, and then this one is gonna work upwards like this, okay? So this one here, you're kind of pinning it against your own shoulder, so it's like kind of like a little trap there. So it's harder for him to escape that one second. So from here, we go one, one, and then two. Okay? So we're taking it from the jab, this one, to this, to this motion here, same thing here. Okay? So work the same idea. This one's gonna catch, this one's gonna cut up here, and then this one to the back of the head if you can. Right? Or side of the neck, back of the head, whatever.